Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this podcast day? I'm so excited for today's video because we are gonna be testing some new overhyped AF drugstore makeup. We have so many things. We have so many goodies. Huh. No, I'm too old for that, huh? Or I'm too young for that. But um, that's what today's video is gonna be. As always, if you guys don't like this video, you guys don't like me, you're using my watch and with that. And if you caught what I just said, you're a real one. Um, but if you guys do like this video, if you guys like talking about drugstore makeup, if you guys like the gays. I'm gonna have a piss in the straight in a minute. Gives you a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. But let's go again started on um the drugstore makeup. <laughs> Now you guys, let's move on to the drugstore goodies that I have gotten. I have some of these things are PR, some of these are purchased by me. I just kind of wanted to go out and just really sew my oats and really experience some drugstore goodies. I think you should experience it. You always say I want to experience things, but I don't think you actually want to experience things because you would experience it if you wanted to experience things. And I'm like, I've seen so many new drugstore things. I'm like, we have to play. We have the new Care Bear X Wet and Wild collection. You guys, I don't think you could even understand Care Bear was my life. I was a Care Bearaholic and it made me gay. So here we are. We have the new Dunkin' Donuts X Elf collection. Cute as this. So we have a lot. We have the new Maybelline um, Super Stay concealers I want to try out. Some new Revlon stuff that I was really intrigued by. I saw this like stick grip matte primer, a gripping matte primer. Never heard of it. So we're gonna be playing with those things right now. Let's go ahead and prime. Let's prime. Now that we're moisturized, let's prime. I kind of just want to open everything and see what we have per collection. This one I got in PR from Elf. So shout out to Elf. Go Elf yourself. Okay, so we have the Don't Forget Putty Primer, and I love. The Elf Cosmetic Party Primer. I do, I really do. But the thing is, I want to try this Revlon grip, and I've because I've tried so many different variations of the of the Putty Primer. If we can open, but I do want to smell it to see if it smells like Donuty, because it's inspired by Dunkin'. The world runs on Dunkin'. What's the slogan? I don't know what the slogan is. That's the actual problem. It's a little peachy, but don't metal. That smells delectable. Oh, truly, that smells divine. Not the face sponge. Not the face sponge, strawberry frosted sprinkle sponge cupcake. Donut. This is, how are you supposed to use this? Is it like you just, you fold it? It's a gimmick. It's definitely a gimmick for sure, but it's cute as, Ball sack and some ball sacks are really cute. So like I understand um, but let's go and try I really want to try the Revlon grip primer matte primer I have questions and I have concerns and I want to know what's the tea. So let's go ahead and take like a good dollop of it Feels really thick it feels kind of silicone-y. Oh my goodness. I feel like it mattified me literally immediately like not like super super matte, but it's like baby that's that's Matt. That's Matt, you know? Maddie MUA is here. Maddie MUA is here. Super mattifying. I'm, where I'm curious about is the grippage. Like, that's what I'm curious about. I'm like, what grip are we talking about? What kind of gorilla grip are we speaking of? Okay, guys, so I will. S okay, wow. You know what I'm gonna say? Not only did it mattify I me, mean, I actually do feel like it blurred out my pores a bit. I do feel like my pores are a little blurred. Oh my God. Do you know what this kind of reminds me of? Reminds me of the one size primer a little bit. Like it's kind of blurring, but it's supposed to have grip to it. It kind of reminds me of the, the one size with that mag the magnet one. I forgot what it's called, but it's also like kind of this color too. Whoa, Nelly! What's going on? What's going on? That's actually really cool. I'm kind of shocked. I'm kind of shook. Um, I'm, I don't have like a new foundation that I want to try, so I'm gonna go and just apply the foundation I love. I feel like we have to use one of these sponges to apply some foundation. We have to. The fact that they have they're embossed. Like, how could you do this to my gay heart? Like, how could you guys do this to me? Okay, I'm gonna use the moon one, of course, as I should. It's on brand for me. Okay, let's apply some foundation. The sponge is working gorgeously, you guys. The sponge is working gorgeously. Feels amazing. And it's so dang cute. And it's a whole bundle. Okay, cool. So now we have our foundation on, you guys. I wanna go in with the new Maybelline Superstay Concealers. I have not tried these yet, and I'm so... I'm excited to try these out. I grabbed the shade 05 and 01, which is me. I We will never know. This is darker in the component than it is on my face. Did not expect it to be this light. Okay. Okay, also it's extremely, extremely thin. 
kind of shockingly thin. Okay, as I'm putting it on, I would say it's giving us like a medium coverage. Huh, a medium coverage. It's just so thin. I'm like kind of shocked. It's thin and kind of dries to a kind of like powdery finish. I was expecting more coverage because Superstay foundation has a ton of coverage and this is like a medium coverage. I'm gonna layer it. I'm gonna layer it, I'm gonna layer it and see what's, what's the T. I mean, on here, there's nowhere it says that it's gonna be full coverage, so I totally, I think I just mis have misread that personally, because I was thinking about how full coverage the foundation is. It's pretty, it's just like a lot less coverage than I was expecting. Huh. I'm gonna show you guys a video of what it looks like on my phone, of course, so you guys can see the team. So this is with two layers on, as you can see, you can still see a little bit of blueness underneath my eyes, and this is with two layers, so I would definitely say it's more of a medium coverage, buildable, but medium coverage, super thin. It's not creasing super fast either, which I really love about it, but kind of drying down. As you can see, it's not like really dewy. It's like more powdery. Okay, who was expecting more coverage? Me too. I was really, really I was expecting more coverage. Not what I was expecting whatsoever. Huh. Can you guys see how thin that is? Like, it's so thin. And the applicator is super tiny too. It's just like, I was just expecting something different because I love the Superstay foundation. So I was just expecting like more coverage, thicker consistency, all things that the Superstay foundation has. This is, does not do that. But the dry down is nice and it doesn't settle into my fine lines and creases quickly at all, which I absolutely love. Okie dokie, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face right quick. Quick. The concealer, I will say, is impressing me. It's just not full coverage, which I was expecting, but it's not like really creasing very fast. Dries down nicely. Like, I'm like, mmm, mmm, okay. Let me set my under eyes with the powder I know. <sighs> Even the brushes. Sharing is caring, bitches. I'm just gonna powder the rest of my face real quick. See how everything's looking. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you a little bit of a video right here. I just wanna see that there's a little bit of separation going on right here. Can I see that? It's like almost like bunching and separating in this area. And I wonder like what's not agreeing with one another because the foundation, like the second ingredient is dimethicone. The first ingredient of the primer is dimethicone. Like what's going on? They shouldn't be arguing with one another. They shouldn't be arguing. There's a little happening. Or maybe I have a dry patch. I could have a dry patch. Let's go with some bronzer, you guys. And so we have some new CoverGirl bronzers. We have the CoverGirl True Blend So Flushed High Pigment Bronzers, which I am intrigued about. We also have the Care Better Bronzer by Wet n Wild. I'm gonna try the CoverGirl one first, because I have a lot of wet, like a lot of, I have a lot of wet and wild. So let's try Miss CoverGirl. Put the base in your walk. Let's take this and see. It said high pigment bronzer. Um, I'm terrified. Okay. Now I need you guys to listen here and listen good. What's one thing I don't like on my channel? Pigmented bronzers. And these are beyond pigmented, actually. I will say, thank goodness there's a sheen to them because it helps a little bit with the blend. Whenever there's like a little bit of a sheen, it helps the blend a lot more than if it was just matte. You just gotta work a lot harder when it's really pigmented, though. I feel like once we got it blended, it doesn't look too bad, but it was, that was a little shocking. Who was scared? The color is nice. I think the effect is pretty. It, looks, it gives me like a skin-like sheen on the forehead. It's just the pigmentation nation. Okay, let's go ahead and try the Wet n Wild one. Cause I'm just, I'm intrigued, I'm curious. So we have Live, Laugh, Hug. So we have a little heart in here. Let's dip in the other side. Okay. So I think um, all the brands decided that it would be a great idea to come out with extremely pigmented um, products like really we want it to be extra pigmented and we want you to just tap in and we want it to be a struggle when you blend we want you to really work for it manny so this is the thing i'm just not a pigmented bronzer kind of girl i like to build up my bronzers i want to be a lightweight effortless effervescence not having to put on a streak and blend from there. I want it to be pretty buildable so I can keep layering if I want to or stop where I want to. Both of these are, this one's less pigmented. I will say like when I even swatch, swatch it, it's pressed more intensely. Whereas the CoverGirl one is pressed a lot lighter and it's a lot more kick up on it. The colors are almost literally identical. This is the CoverGirl one, as you can tell, it's more pigmented and this is the wet one. Why are they low key dupes? <laughs> this one's just a little bit more red, but it's 
they're pretty identical. For me, the overly pigmented bronzers are just not gonna work. It's just not gonna work for me. And if you guys like overly pigmented bronzers, like if you like them when you just dip in and you like go boom right away, then I think you'll love them. I think that you will absolutely be obsessed with them. I think you'll be like beyond like living the fantasy. Um, for me, in my fantasy, in my world, in my gay world, um, that's a no. Okay, let's go with some blush. Blush, I don't mind being as pigmented. I mean, I would rather it not be, but I would take that over pigmented bronzers for sure. So this is the blush in Do What You Love. I love what you do. This might save the cheek. This might save the cheek a bit. It might save it. The cheek is actually very, uh, it's doing not well. The cheek's not doing well right now, but um, here we are. And the blush is actually literally beautiful. Look at that, that's stunning. I feel like a fucking Care Bear, dude. A little Care Bear. This was also very pigmented, which again, I'm not like obsessed with pigmented blushes either. It's just, um, I'll take a pigmented blush over a pigmented bronzer any day of the week. When we have a little highlighter, let your light shine. Ooh, it's very, it has glitter. We're gonna take a little bit of this brush. We're, take, we're, just gonna take, we're not gonna take a lot. It's powdery and a little glittery, so I don't wanna take too much. I just wanna do a little pop at the top. Very reflective, a little glittery, a little powdery, but it's very cute. And I think that it makes sense for a Care Bear collection to have a little bit of glitter in the highlighter. It makes a lot of sense, actually. It makes a lot of sense in my fantasy, in my head. So it's a completely like white with a gold reflect. So if you're deeper in complexion, like I would probably avoid this because it has a lot of white undertone in it. It will absolutely give you a white cast. Even on me, it's giving me a white cast when I head, look head on. There's a cast there, Casper. Why does my cheeks look like it's like bronzer, blush, highlighter? Like there's no blend in this cheek. It's like the cheek is quite doomed. I'm trying, but the, che the it's the cheek of no return, you know? It really is the cheek of no return and I don't have any words, just concerns. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go into my brows off camera, you guys. I don't really have any new brow products. I was like, yeah, I need to try this. Fuck yeah, blah, blah. but I'll be right back. So we can do the eyes together. Okay guys, so we are back in the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled, but lightly. More of like a, a fluffy brow moment, a little fluffy brow fill. You know, I like to switch it up sometimes. Okay, let me zoom you guys in a bit more. Okay, anyway guys, so we have some eyeshadow palettes. I was thinking about using one of the cute little Elf Duncan ones. These cute ass things, dude. They're so cute to me. So when I'm looking at them, like they're like the, obviously a little bite-sized shadows, right? I feel like color story-wise, I do wish that there was more like practicality. Like this, for example, is not the most practical palette to me, you know what I mean? The chocolate frosted with sprinkles. It makes sense for a collab though, you know, obviously you gotta do what you gotta do with the collab. And they're obviously thinking that you're gonna have mats somewhere. You know, we have the strawberry frosted and the uh, Boston cream. So practicality wise, they're just like not the most practical colors if you were to just get them themselves, but they're, I'm assuming like, hello, you have other matte shadows is what they're, they're banking on, and it's a collaboration with Duncan. They want it to be as like authentic and on brand as possible, which I totally understand. It's just when I'm looking at them, I'm like, you know, it's a little harder to make full color stories out of them. It's a little harder to do so. And then we have the Care Bear shadows. <sighs> These look so fucking cool. I'm just gonna swatch something. We have this deep emerald color. It's a little chunky. We have this lighter one. That's cool. This is a cool color. Ooh, this brown feels really nice. We got some good ones in here. And I love the like little embossedness to them. It's very like, when I'm looking at the palette though, I'm not gonna lie, it does give me like kindergartner. It gives me a uh, preschool. Let me see, I wanna touch this soft shadow. It's like a purpley sheen. The the quality of the little snaps, these little snap shadows from Elf, they feel good. They're not the best quality ever. And I feel like Elf's other um, snaps might've been a little bit better, but I think it's because they're more practical. These I just don't like as much. I feel like Elf has had better snap shadows than these. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Care Bear. I'm gonna go with more of a, is it something pinky? I'm feeling pink. I feel pink. I'm gonna go with the pinky shade from the Care Bear and just dip into the, into the brown and the pink and just kind of see how that looks and it looks kind of divine. And it's like really pigmented. <laughs> oh shit, okay, okay. Let's put that all over the lid. What do you guys think? I like that. It actually looks really nice, really, really nice. Um, I wanna go in, 
I wanna go with this lavender. I kinda wanna pack it on. Like this lavender shade, it looks so pretty. What if we just kinda go pastel-y today, you guys? Are you guys down? Hey, look at this, look at this pastel. That's stunning. Into the crease, into the pink. I like that. I will say there's like some reflect in this one and it's fa it's falling out everywhere, which is not cool. But the shade itself is absolutely beautiful. I feel like it's very like mysterious, you know? I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade as well in the snap shadow, a little bit on my finger. It on just to give me a little bit of a sheen on the lid because all the reflex fell off, so I might as well add a little bit. Oh, oh, there's a lot of fallout. I will say there's a lot of fallout though. You're gonna need to put some fucking powder underneath there or something because the fallout was real. But I think actually the look is very sweet and soft and romantic. It's romantic. Sometimes I feel like with the collection that they do, like things like this, like collaborations, sometimes I feel like the quality isn't as good as like original stuff. I don't know, am I crazy? I'm hoping I'm crazy and that's not even a thing, but like sometimes I feel like it's not the same. The Wet n Wild, I mean the Wet n Wild shades like worked well and they were pigmented and they looked nice, but sometimes I feel like, is it the same? Like with the elf ones with the, the little elves, the snap shadows, I don't feel like the quality is as good as other ones. I really don't, I really, really don't. Take this shade, a little bit right here from the Boston Cream. It's pretty, it's soft, it's romantic, it's pretty. I got another product I wanna try. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lash Enhancing Liquid Liner. It's felt and that scares me. You guys know how I feel about felt. You know how I feel. Let's see, what's the tea? Oh my gosh, that is so freaking dark. Wait a damn minute. It's actually really easy to apply. You guys see that, how dark that is? Whoa. It says it's supposed to be matte, so let's see if it dries down max. I'm not seeing a matte fantasy, but I'm impressed with how dark it is and how easy it was to go on. It is actually kind of going matte. Not like matte matte, but it's like a satin, a satin matte. I've had matter, of course. I've played with matter, but it's so dark. You guys see that shit? Okay guys, so I also grabbed this from the drugstore. This is the Revlon New So Fierce Big Bad Lash Extreme Volume and Lash Effect from Revlon. Let's see, is it gonna be extreme? I just curl my lashes. I want extreme. If something claims to be extreme, I better see extreme. Nothing's happening. Okay, we're gonna try this again. We're gonna really build it up. That's with two layers on. So, um, I'm personally just looking for the where the extreme is, and I'm looking for the volume and the length. It does a great job at separating. You know, once you build it up, I'm not nearly as mad, like with two layers. After one, I was screaming. Do you guys see that? Now it's like looking a lot better. After two, like, full layers of it. But I was scared for a second, I really was. I like, literally nothing was happening. Literally nothing was happening. You have to build this one clearly. You have to do multiple coats to get it to do what you want, but I feel like you can get it there. It just takes some layering and build a lot three layers deep and we got it there I just for I guess for me personally I just tend to not want to like put on that many coats of mascara to get like a desired effect that I'm going for I think that can be kind of annoying I like, just in my personal opinion I think it can be a little bit annoying but I feel like we've gotten to a good spot when it when something claims to be extreme and like all these like claims on it I'm expecting a little bit more you know what I mean I want to use this this the elf Duncan original blend coffee scrub okay I'm curious that smells incredible. It literally smells like chocolate coffee. You guys, what in God's green earth? Mm, maybe this will wake you up in the morning. That worked amazing, ma'am. We gotta take the wins where we can. We gotta take the wins where we can, and that was a win. I like that. If you guys like coffee, I think you guys will live. I'm impressed. Okay, so I'm gonna go finish the other eye off camera and put a lash on. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided actually not to put lashes on because I kind of want you guys to see the full effect of what was going on with the lash. Um, I feel like they got like really clumpy at the bottom. I feel like it could be a look, the bottom clumpers, but I just, I don't know. Mascara, I really don't know. If you guys have this, how do you guys make it work? I really want to know. If you guys have the Revlon Sophia's Big Bad Matte Lash, how do you make it work? Because it took me three layers to even get it to here. And it, even then, it's still not like, Nothing to cry home to mama about, you guys. I need help figuring that one out. It's not a vibe, if you will. It's not the vibe, stop! Um, and let's go ahead, I wanna put a little gloss on and I wanna use the Elf Duncan's. I do, I do! We have Duncan orange and pink. I say that's with the pink one. This is so cute! I love this. Ooh, 
Got some color to it. I might be obsessed with these. What does it smell? I don't. Even, I honestly don't even know the smell of it. Like chocolatey caramel. I don't fucking know. It just smells so good. Okay, the glosses are a fucking win. Is that what coffee smells like? Should I start drinking coffee? Okay, you guys, and that's kind of it. Oh, you know what? Let's put this on too. This is the Revlon New Lock Setting Mist. That might be the worst mister I've ever experienced. That shot out like a rocket, like a gun. You know guys, overall, I would have to say I wasn't as thrilled as I've been in the past with testing new makeup videos. I feel like the last new testing new makeup video I did, it wasn't like just drugstore stuff. It was like more higher end, middle end and stuff like that. And I had like literally nothing go wrong like whatsoever. And with these, I feel like I had a lot of things that I was not like a fan of. I'm not a big fan of whatsoever in the new stuff. I will go ahead and go through my faves really quickly. I love the Wet n Wild sponges, the ones that they did with uh, Care Bear. I actually think they're really cute. I think they're really, really adorable. I love, they can buy them in a bundle. I truly I truly love that and I think they're really cute. I love the way that they're embossed and they feel great. They feel fantastic, great sponges. I really like the CoverGirl Exhibitionist uh, liquid liner. I do feel like it's really bomb. It's not, it's definitely not matte. They're saying like, oh, it's like matte. It's not that matte. It's like a satin finish, but you know, it is what it is. But it, I really did really, really like it. And I would say the e.l.f. Duncan gloss and lip scrub is fire. Like this combo is fire. So good. Made my lips feel honestly bomb. Felt really, really good. Products I didn't love as much. The little snap shadows, I just didn't like it. Was, I just feel like the quality wasn't as good as they usually are. For Elf, I just didn't love them. I wasn't obsessed with them. I would say that the Wet n Wild uh, palette shadows performed better than the Elf ones did. Of the ones I touched and felt and like swatched, definitely the ones from Wet n Wild performed better than those did in my personal opinion. That setting spray was a clear disaster. Shot out like a literal rocket. Absolutely not. We're not, that's what we're not gonna do is that. Both bronzers were not what I was expecting whatsoever. Like they were just extremely, I mean, honestly, I should have expected that from the cover girl when it said so pigmented on it, but they were just more pigmented than I was expecting. And I just didn't want that. I just didn't want it. Also the Maybelline Superstay concealers, I was expecting more. I was expecting more coverage. Uh, I was expecting them to be a little bit thicker. They're not what I was expecting whatsoever. I did like that they increased quickly, but I really build them up to give me the coverage I wanted. So I was really shocked about that. I will say it's cool because it doesn't look matte underneath my eyes. Like they're not too mattifying, even though it's supposed to be a long wear consistency. But I was really like kind of like shocked by those. So there was a lot of products in here that I wasn't like blown away with actually. Wasn't blown away. I really liked a lot of them, but there was a lot of products that I was like kind of like, this could have been better, but yeah, that's kind of it today's video. Hope you guys had a little more insight on new drugstore goodies. If you guys are interested in any of them, uh, let me know what you guys are interested in, what you guys liked, what you guys didn't like from today's video in the comments. I would love, 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 love to see that. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of the night or day, wherever you guys are, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I love you. Mwah. Oh my goodness. Hey, guys. Who's ready? Wally, 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 Wally. <sighs> I ain't got it. Ooh, it has a ball in it. I love balls. Oh